And I want to make this very clear. I don't want you to think that I'm one of those people that is trying to police black women and telling black women, don't wear wigs and weaves and just wear your hair natural. Black women, do whatever you want to do with yourself. But let us not get it confused. When we wear these wigs and these things, they don't represent blackness. They just don't. By the way, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and uh, I believe that we're going to achieve it any day now. I truly believe that. So I talked about this in the video I posted last year and make no mistake, this is a reposting of that video. But I wanted to revisit the topic because here we are again accusing a non-black woman of black fishing trying to appear as if she really is a black person and what you are watching is the video in question this is exactly what people were talking about when they said that alabama barker is pretending to be a black woman now she is rapping in the video and i can see how rap being something that is born out of the black community people would feel inclined to gatekeep rapping for that reason but she was specifically accused of black fishing because of her makeup and the way she looks she's trying to look like she's a black woman and a year after i posted that video saying come on guys are, are, are we seriously trying to pretend that this is what black women look like and that when non-black women make themselves look like this, they're trying to look like us. In the video from last year that is going to start shortly, I was specifically talking about the accusation that was made against Kim Kardashian on the cover of Vogue magazine, where she was also accused of black fishing. And these aren't the only non-black women who have been accused over the years of black fishing. We have different examples. But I want you to take a look at these images that I'm posting here because none of these people look black. We accuse women who are trying to look exotic of trying to look black. And those are not the same thing. And quite frankly, it is embarrassing when we take images that clearly don't reflect an Afro-ethnic background they show, yes, exotic looks. And by exotic, I mean non-white. But those are not the same thing as being black or wanting to look black. But anyway, this is that video. I'm going to post it right now. Let's go into the video. Um, I wanted to make this video really quickly because I have been seeing this all over social media. And... Um, this is embarrassing, guys. This is really embarrassing. Kim Kardashian is being accused of blackfishing on the latest cover of Vogue magazine. And for those of you who don't know what blackfishing is, it you know basically means somebody who is trying to look like a black person. Actually, to be more specific, blackfishing is about deceiving people into thinking that you are an actual black person. The term comes from the word catfish, which, as we know, is a modern term used to describe somebody who takes on a completely different persona online to reel in a suitor or somebody that they're interested in, to take on a completely different identity, whether it's a different gender, a completely different image to attract others. The same can be applied to black fishing. These are people who pretend to be a black person in order to create a new persona for themselves. The truth is, Kim is not black fishing because this is not what black women look like. I can't believe I have to say that. I cannot believe I have to get on camera and tell people that black women don't look like this. And the truth is that all this conversation has done, at least in my mind, is highlight the fact that the reason why Kim Kardashian gets accused of black fishing so often, and we can get into the, the whole cultural thing. Kim, Kim hasn't been innocent, 
but I'm talking specifically about her look. And as I was saying, the reason why she gets accused of black fishing so often is because so many black women spend a lot of money trying to look like this. And there's so many of us out there trying to do this with wigs and the way we manipulate our looks so much so that it has created a sort of look that is now associated with black womanhood but it says nothing it has nothing to do with how we really look in our natural state and i want to make this very clear I don't want you to think that I'm one of those people that is trying to police black women and telling black women, don't wear wigs and weaves and just wear your hair natural. Black women, do whatever you wanna do with yourself. Wear whatever hair you wanna wear, do it in any way that makes you happy. But let us not get it confused. When, when we wear these wigs and these things, they don't represent blackness. They just don't. And I even saw some comments, some people um, trying to say that, oh, well, uh, like in this photo in particular, uh, she's trying to look like Naomi Campbell. She's copying Naomi. <sighs> Guys, that's not Naomi's hair. I don't think we've ever seen Naomi Campbell's hair, her real hair. And so for, for Kim to put on a straight black long wig and get accused of copying Naomi Campbell, we really have lost the plot, guys. We have, we have lost the plot. We have gotten lost and that is sad because it's almost as if we've forgotten what we really look like. And we have to really reflect and remember who are we? What do we look like? If, we, if Kim had slapped on a, a, an Afro wig, I could understand that. If she had tried to broaden her nose or really, really get herself really, really dark, I could understand that. Because those are the traits that represent original blackness. Original blackness is a very specific thing. A very beautifully specific thing and we have forgotten it because we have taken on these costumes that we put on as the definition of blackness because unfortunately for so many of us that's what we want blackness to look like and we need to work on that but before we do that we need to be clear on what blackness is all about and it's not Kim Kardashian. She's not giving black girl to me. She's giving Cher. She looks like Cher. She's even looking like Elizabeth Taylor. I see Cher, I see Elizabeth Taylor, I see Native American. I don't see black. I don't see it. When I look at the Kardashians, I don't see black girls. I see white girls trying to look racially ambiguous, trying to look mixed race. Mixed is not black. That's another topic for another time that I don't want to get into. But let's stop accusing people who get a deep tan. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I understand the nuance of this. I, I get it. It's not the same thing when white people try to look more ambiguous or try to change their features. It's not the same thing as when black people do the same. In a system of white supremacy and discrimination, black people are literally fighting for their lives. They're literally trying to fit in where your entire phenotype is discriminated against. It makes sense for you to want to assimilate and try to acquire the characteristics, the physical characteristics of the people who live in the dominant society. I understand that, that makes sense. So I'm not trying to downplay 
the circumstances that might drive black people, specifically black women, to try to change their appearance. I get it. The thing I'm trying to hone in here is let us not forget that when we put on these costumes, they serve a purpose, but they are not the definition of blackness. They are not the new definition of blackness. Blackness will always be one thing, very specific, very beautiful. And nothing that we do is going to change that. I just, I just wanted to, to put that in there so that we're clear on that. See, the problem is when we define everything as black, when we open up the tent and let everybody in and say, oh yeah, you black, you one drop, yeah, yeah, you black, half, yeah, yeah, you black, quadru, yeah, come on in. When that happens, it creates confusion and it creates the hysteria that I'm seeing. And we need to understand that it doesn't really look good. It's not a good look when we keep jumping up and accusing people of trying to look like us when so many of us are trying to not look like us. And that's where the confusion comes from. Kim Kardashian is not black fishing. Or at the most, she might be trying to look biracial. And that is not black fishing. They are not the same thing. So, yeah. That's my little TED talk. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you think this whole black fishing accusation is ridiculous? Do you think it's embarrassing? I think it is. I really do think it is because I, I think that other people are looking at it like, yeah, but well, y'all don't look like this. It, it's not giving black girl. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. If this is the kind of thing you'd like to see me talk about, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and 